Oh, Kingsley, I dare say you look quite peakish. Oh, Capital, now you look rather dashing. Snapchat lenses are very entertaining, and I thought it'd be cool to see what it'd take to add something like this to a computer webcam. You could go the lazy, unproductive way of just downloading something someone else made. Or you could follow that spark of wonder and curiosity and see what it takes to make your own. Who's with me? Really? Guys? The lenses in Snapchat are actually very complex technologically, but they're built off of very basic face tracking concepts within the realm of something called computer vision. Computer vision? Like what Arnold Schwarzenegger saw in the Terminator movies? Actually, yeah, that's not a bad comparison. But let's break it down further. When we look at an image, we see objects, faces, shapes, colors, and those associations help us recognize the contents of the image. So recognizing a face using computer vision is more like looking for patterns and comparing that to patterns it already knows as faces. All right, enough talking, let's go ahead and jump down this rabbit hole. Doing computer vision tasks on your computer requires computer vision software. And a good program for beginners is called Simple CV. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, but you'll need to install Python version 2.7 first. Oh, and you'll need a webcam. My setup, as you longtime viewers may have guessed, is a Linux-based Raspberry Pi with a webcam attached. So if you're following along in Linux, and if you're not, then why the cotton pick and poop nuggets aren't you? I just updated and upgraded the software sources and then installed the Python prerequisites before I installed Simple CV and a couple more requisites. Since I'm using the Raspberry Pi Pi camera, I have to activate the camera driver before continuing, but you shouldn't have to do this on Windows or Mac. So open up a text editor and point to your Python installation path and then import the Simple CV library. The next thing that we want to do is define the display window in the webcam. Then we can create a loop that detects that the display is active, and in that loop we can grab the image from the camera and set it to a variable. So right now this image variable is storing an image from the webcam so that it can be used and manipulated using computer vision. As a simple test, let's simply invert the value of each pixel and then show the results on the display. We can also do things like detect edges and extract colors. And this is a very good basic introduction as to what computer vision can do. But we want to do more. We want it to recognize and track faces. To do this, the computer vision software uses a method called the Viola Jones framework to take the pixels in an image and compare them against each other to see where lighter and darker pixels fall. Then it can compare those results to a subset of pixels it already knows as facial features. These are called har-like features. So let's add a har feature cascade to our code and extract a face XML from it. Optionally, you could choose eyes, nose, or mouth. Now we can take our image and search for the har features that we selected. If it finds a face, then we can choose the largest face in the image and then draw a red box around it. Saving the code and running it, now whenever a face is detected, a red box should be tracking it. So now it's as simple as replacing that red box with other images like other faces, hats, glasses, or mustaches. For example, I can import this image of a mustache and then use a couple of computer vision techniques to mask out the background. Then I can search for faces and noses. If a face is found, I can crop out the face and then search for a nose within it. Then if a nose is found, I can find the center of the face and the center of the nose and use that to determine the position of the mustache. After that, it's as simple as adding our mustache image to that position as well as its mask. Saving that code and running it, you should now see a mustache appear on any face that is recognized. And this is just a small sample of what you can do. I've posted my code up on my website so you can take it and make something even more awesome from it. So what would you make? Let me know in the comments below. And what ideas would you like me to cover next? Submit or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com ideas. 
Click here to watch more videos like this. And if you got any value out of my show and would like to give some value back, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, or donate at tinkernut.com donate. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.